Welcome to Technotis. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your T-Force Cardia Liquid SSD like one of these, make it look from this to looking like that. This is from blue to orange, but in fact, you can make it any other color you want. So let's do it. Are you sick of seeing activate Windows message on your desktop? Well, it's time to activate your Windows and do it cheap. Go on to whokeys.com where you can find official license keys not just for Microsoft but all sorts of game CD keys including Steam CD keys, Origin CD keys, Uplay CD keys and so on. If you're looking for Windows 10 Pro key for example then all you have to do is search for Windows 10 Pro, select the license and add it to the basket. Use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount. Once you have the license key on your email, click here, here, type in your license key, hit activate and you're all done. Check out whokeys.com in the description below and don't forget to use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount. So if you don't know what this is, this is a T-Force Cardia Liquid SSD. It's a PCIe 3.0 SSD, uh, and M.2 SSD with an absolutely fancy, awesome looking SSD. And from the factory, it comes like this. It's all blue. It looks very, very nice. But the thing is, you might not always have a blue build, so you're gonna do it, you know, you know, you need a different color. So you can make this into whatever color you want, basically whatever other liquids are out there. In my case, I'm gonna make it orange, like this one over here. I have already done this one. So um, we're gonna make this blue one go to orange as well because my build is going to be orange. So before we're gonna start, few things that you are going to need. First of all, remember we are actually dealing with liquid, so we have to be very careful with the SSDs. What we need is a toilet paper to dry things up. Hopefully this should be in stock now after um, the pandemic. Uh, then if you have, it would be very useful to have a very like a syringe that is quite skinny, skinny syringe that will be in very good use. And uh, the Cardia liquid also comes with like little pouch of um, liquid like that blue one. So I've, I'm gonna leave this one over here. I have already opened the other one, which you can see over here is the orange one. So you're gonna need that one as well. Obviously this will be filled with some liquid. You're gonna need your preferable liquid over here. I have the Eki Cryofuel, Cryofuel? Cryofuel? EK Solid, and this is Fire Orange, okay? And these guys do like loads of different colors, whatever colors you want. I'm gonna leave a few colors in the description if you wanna check out as well as the very bad ass looking. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a smaller bottle. I think there was some, but they didn't come with Prime, so I needed it fast. So I had to buy one liter, which is absolutely overkill in this, because we're only gonna use a little bit. And then last of all, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver over here. I've got the iFixit kit over here, so if you have one of these, these are absolutely awesome. I'm gonna leave that in the description as well. With no further ado, let's start. So SSD comes with uh, like this little plastic sleeve where it's in there. So we're gonna pour all the liquid in there that comes from, from here, in the, from this SSD. Before we're gonna open this up and try to pull that down, take out your blue liquid pouch that you had to come with, that came with the SSD, okay? And you just pull this white top up, and as you can see on the top over here, there's like a little bubble type of thing. We're gonna need to cut that off. It looks like that, okay? And try to cut it as close to the bubble as possible so that you won't like cut loads off and then your kind of ending or the opening on this side is very big so as close to the bubble as possible and that's it when you open it up squeeze all the blue out somewhere okay and then you're gonna need a bit of toilet paper to dry up the inside of this and uh, which will take a little bit of time you're gonna need to dry up all the like little cone over here and then inside just use a toilet paper like that if you take one kind of slice like that and then you just kind of twist the twizzle it into like a little little cone like that and then you can go all the way inside and everywhere and dry it up so that there's no blue liquid inside so we get everything orange once you're done you're gonna have like a little liquid like that we're gonna need to fill this with a bit of that how this works is we're gonna open this up and then this bit just comes off like that okay i'm gonna put it on the side because there's already a bit of orange in there always remember we're dealing with liquid here so be very careful make sure you're not knocking every anything over or onto your ssds that we're gonna use use your syringe push it in there and then we're gonna pull a little bit out okay i've got actually quite a small syringe so it's gonna take a few fillings here to fill this up okay that's enough now take some toilet paper again to 
dry up any excess you might have spilt. We're gonna put back the little cone over here and then put that one back down here. We don't need the syringe anymore and we can put this little cone on the side. Next of all, we have this um, SSD that we're gonna be working on. Now, be very careful not to get any liquid or don't touch these cold golden pins on this side. And you don't wanna get any liquid on here or drop in on this side over here or any of these little connections or anything on this like a chipboard or the actual SSD. This is where the liquid's gonna be coming out, right? And I recommend you opening it up first of all, like facing upwards, right? And we're gonna unscrew that. I'm gonna take a bit of toilet paper already, put it down here as well, and put the screw on it because most likely there's a bit of blue on the screw, yep. So don't be pouring it this way because then it will drip over the SSD. We're gonna want to pour it the other way, but as you can see, it's not coming out. It's open as you can see, but it's not coming out, don't worry, because it's all vacuum inside. In fact, um, we still need to <laughs> open this and, and wreck this. So we're gonna cut it up, open over here, right? Then squeeze it all over here, all this liquid, we don't need that. So how you're gonna get this liquid out is, so squeeze it first and then put it inside the hole there, okay? And then now, when you let it go, it's actually gonna suck some of it out. And then what you can do is press in back inside and then out. Squeeze in and squeeze out. As you can see, some of the liquid is coming out, but be careful so that the liquid is not like pouring out from here into the actual, from this opening. So it's not like somehow spraying onto the motherboard. So be keep your eyes on it. Squeeze in, see, it came outside. Squeeze in and squeeze out, okay, see? Okay, I can see there's a bit of blue going on the other side. So now that's why we're just using it, flipping it the other way. So if anything drips, it drips down rather than drips down on the SSD, okay? We're gonna dry up everything over here, like make it very skinny and very thin and put it right through the hole over there to dry all the, dry it all up over there. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. As you can see over here, that is completely empty now. Make sure that the blue liquid, you're gonna put it gently somewhere away because now we're gonna start working with orange and let's start filling it, okay? So now, be very careful, you can't just drop it in, okay? Because it's vacuum and the hole is very small, it's not just gonna fall and drip inside because um, how it works, it's basically just gonna cover it. So what we need to do is actually squeeze it inside like we did before, like we emptied it, emptied it, you know, sucked it out, now we have to squeeze it inside as well. But you can't properly squeeze because if you squeeze very hard, it's gonna squeeze it over the edges as well, okay? So what you need to do is squeeze it a tiny little bit, right, until the orange is almost in the end, and then kind of push it inside the hole, and now start squeezing it in there, okay? And now be careful, because look, it's gonna start sometimes squeezing it around the edges, okay? Squeeze it as long as you can. Okay, that was quite a good squeeze. Now, you know, pull it out. But now there's a little bit of orange, as you can see, on the ending over there, already sitting in the end there. So be careful, because now when you squeeze it second time, look, I'm gonna open the orange all the way to the end, and then squeeze. That was a good squeeze as well. This happens better than the, f oh, see. Now it's somehow squishing that orange liquid on the side of this opening, and I don't want it to come over and drip onto the SSD or whatever. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's all dry over here and then let's keep going. So on this side, you can see how much you have filled, but fill it as much as you can because it's like nice to have like little bubbles rather than one massive bubble uh, flying around if it's, if it's not completely full, but the minimum is like on this edge, but we wanna fill it all the way to the top as much as we can, okay? Holding from the sides, and then let's keep doing this.
Okay, now as you can see on this side over here, it is all the way to the top, as you can see. And um, you can keep filling it like to your own liking as much as you want. I think I'm pretty much gonna leave it there. Maybe I'm gonna put a tiny little squeeze more in, but I think we're pretty much done now. Now when you are done, what you want to do is you wanna dry up like the opening or the mouth of this opening, because if you leave anything there, we don't want any of this like liquid go between the seal of the screw here so we're just gonna I'm just gonna put like some of the toilet paper just around this opening and then just drying it all up okay so now let's put the screw back in there get it going use this as well okay and we are done when we move it around there is a bit of this bubble over there let's say yeah you can just uh, fill it a bit more or that is pretty much as full as full as it can be uh, you can put slightly more so now we have two orange cardia liquids over here pcie 3.0 500 gigabyte ones these are so a few tips that um you know you can still have over here is just be very very gentle when you're doing this okay you don't want to get any of this on the actual ssd any of the liquid to short on the ssd or anything like that and then don't try to pull this um, actual heatsink off the ssd as well because otherwise your warranty will be void but you can change the liquid inside and uh, nothing about that you you can completely do that the warranty won't you know you won't void your warranty and that's how you change the liquid on your t-force cardia liquid now, if you want to see these SSDs in a build, stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you have any other questions. I'll meet you in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. You know, you won't void your warranty doing, warranty doing that.